say you're not a cop, but you act like one. Are you nuts? Old habits. She's a bit of a rule breaker and, um, and a little unfiltered, and I think there's a little bit of wish fulfillment in all of us. I mean, even me, I'm, I'm really not particularly like that myself. Um, so we all, we all want to be a little braver socially, you know, and be less beholden to what other people might be thinking about us, and she truly doesn't care. So uh, that's, that's a lovely little bit of um, satisfaction that you get when you're watching it. Hi. Where are you? Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, tip top. Just out getting some exercise, you know, doctor's orders. It's like a psychic holiday, right? Because the news is really grim for all of us. And um, here you at least get the verisimilitude of justice, which I think everybody's quite hungry for these days. Well, I, the first time I went to watch a murder trial was when um, one of my colleagues was unfortunately um, diagnosed with cancer and the whole production had to shut down and I was there twiddling my thumbs in New Zealand going what the heck am I going to do with myself while our friend gets treatment and um, I thought you know what I'm going to do what I always wanted to as a teenager I'm going to go to the high court and see what I can see and I sort of sat went into courtroom six and I sat behind a pillar so the jury couldn't see me because I'm quite known or at least I'd be distracting you know and I s try to sit as impassively as possible and um, and I heard somebody say, and then Joseph said, just throw her body in the creek and let the eels peck at her. And I went, oh, well, this is my new happy place. <laughs> you know? and it just teaches you so much about life and your own society and justice and about yourself. I realized I really can't tell a liar because people who are raised to lie as a matter of survival are so unable to be detected.